Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to one more game of Vladimir Lenin, but this time uh, probably the game uh, really took place. Uh, the first game which I show was between uh, Vladimir Lenin and Adolf Hitler. Feel free to, you know, check this game, very interesting story and some of the subscribers actually told me that this guy look more as uh, Trotsky, not Lenin and uh, I checked that uh, Trotsky actually live in Vienna at that uh, period and also what is more interesting, Josef Stalin live also at that time in Vienna, so it's very possible that the artist who uh, created that etching uh, you know, uh, just, you know, didn't know which communist is which one. They were famous, but not very much yet. So, uh, you know, maybe that was the game between Hitler and Trotsky or I have no idea. So uh, feel free, you know, to make the investigation. <laughs> the story is interesting, so uh, really worth to checking. This game, however, was played in 1908 between... Vladimir Lenin as White and Maxim Gorky, um, the writer, Russian writer, um, in Capri. And it was played in Villa of Maxim Gorky in Italy. This is the picture of the villa, so feel free to enjoy uh, the view. And we have also the picture of uh, the players. However, in this picture, Lenin play against Bogdanov. And Gorky is in this picture, you know, behind watching uh, to the camera. So maybe he, uh, that game was played during that visit. However, there are also some doubts because the game, this exact game is listed on 1964 opening manual chess openings theory and practice by Horowitz as having been played in 1960 as um, part of the radio match between Deshna chess club as white and Lenin chess club as black and the moves match from start to finish so I'm not sure the game was really played and the players recorded that or maybe recorded later or maybe these players you know from these chess clubs just were trolling um, and and then the game was I, I have no idea and I have no clue but feel free to you know um, press like and leave the comment if you have any idea what really happened in that game Okay, without a further ado, let's jump into the game and Lenin open with e4 and we have knight on f6. So first su surprise because this is Alekhin defense and Alekhin, you know, um, studied this defense much later. Of course, it was played also uh, as early 19th century, uh, but it was not very known theoretically. So it's also some doubts uh, if the game is uh, real we have e5 uh, knight on d5 d4 uh, d6 and here we have c4 kicking the knight knight on b6 and f4 so four pawns attack uh, we have d takes on e5 f takes on e5 and knight c6 attacking d4 pawn we have bishop on e3 defending bishop on f5 so normal developing move knight on c3 e6 knight on f3 now bishop e7 bishop e2 and castle by both sides and here we have f6 so believe me or not but this is still the theory uh, even in 21st century so um, the most popular move would be now e takes on f6 and bishop takes on f6 queen d2 queen e7 and then uh, rook a on d1 rook a on d8 Queen c1 and the game can continue. This this is still, you know, playable. However, uh, here in this position we have um, knight on h4 attacking this bishop, trying to exchange that bishop. That bishop um, doesn't have much space to go. So we have f takes on e5 by Gorky. Knight takes on f5. E takes on f5 and now d5 attacking the knight. So knight moves to d4. Uh, and why don't want this, this knight, you know, to stay uh, in the middle of the board. So just exchange, picking up the, the pawn back. And now we have knight on d7 by Gorky with the idea, of course, bishop 
on c5 and winning the queen so king on h1 by lenin we have bishop on c5 anyway queen on d3 now queen on g5 moving to the to the king's side and preparing for some dangerous attack we have knight on b5 attacking c7 however rook a on e8 so a uh, very well prepared um, attack by gorky and knight on c7 is indeed not really great move because of rook on e3 with attack on the queen if queen move on d2 i will show you a very similar line in the game what just happened if queen on c2 is even worse because bishop on d6 attacking the knight and if knight go on e6 then queen h6 with attack on um, h2 and that's uh, actually a threat of checkmating so g3 would have to be played and then bishop on g3 uh, bishop on f3 knight e5 and position of white really gonna collapse soon uh, it's difficult to show um, the move for white now so uh, after rook on e3 actually the engine our silicon friends uh, shows that knight on e6 would be the best with attack on the queen and after queen on h6 actually don't play, uh, you know, any queen on c2, d2, just take this bishop. And after rook on d3, knight d7. Rook on d2, take this rook, exchange, and in this position, just continue the game. Black stands slightly better, but white actually have some counterplay, you know. Um, these pawns uh, can be supported from behind. This knight is, is very strong it's possible you know to get some counter play and continue the game but according to the game record lenin play bishop on f3 so he didn't take on c7 which uh maybe slightly better move however we still have rook on e3 queen on d2 this is what i told you now this queen and this queen is on one diagonal so both queens are unprotected and black decide what to do you know uh, when to move the, the the rook gorky play rook on f6 however he had a quite better idea queen h6 so this queen could be protected which is very important uh because what would happen i will show you just you know the best move by by white very active attacking the the bishop but i will show you the idea here why uh, you know protecting this queen is important here because of this combination and now uh you know uh, queen is under attack so queen has to take on h6 and now black can pick up the rook uh, and only then take the queen the problem in this continuation is b takes on c5 knight on c5 so uh, not really great uh, this is you know um very equal probably the draw but still a lot to play because white actually can have passed pawn here after taking on c7 so still some you know some moves to do before you know signing the draw of course after b4 uh, black can play uh, bishop on d6 which is much better move knight d6 c takes on d6 but now queen on f2 and there are no ideas um, of taking on uh, f three so uh it would be better for black but it's still very very playable uh b6 have to be moved otherwise this c5 can be very dangerous and um However, here Gorky play rook on f6 and he gave Lenin to get some counterplay. Lenin play b4 attacking the bishop. Gorky moved the bishop to e7. However, the engine suggests that h6 or rook on g6 protecting the queen would be okay. And then even if white takes the, the bishop, then we would have uh, this combination and uh, black would have very comfortable game. Uh, however, we have bishop on e7 and it's a very smart idea here. Now, knight on c7, uh, it's, you know, a very bad move. Now we have rook on h6 
Uh, and here look at this bishop this bishop protects the queen which is very important in this position and what are the problems now so first this bishop can attack the knight and also attack h2 also the queen can do the same and also queen can go to g3 and do the same checkmate and picking up the, the knight so if white plays something like knight on e8 then actually uh, we know already uh, rook on f3, queen on g5, uh, rook on f1 and after exchanging the pieces uh, rook on f5, bishop on d2 attacking this, this pawn structure and, uh, and white just you know cannot defend that b5 and uh, after bishop on b4 they will never progress black will just you know pick up these pawns and win the game because a minor piece up is of course uh, enough to win the game so uh, knight on e8 not really great a more active knight on e6 was played in the game we have queen on g3 uh, by gorky now checkmate is coming uh, and white can try to play king on g1 uh, it's possible however it's also losing queen on h2 king f2 and now after rook on f3 king f3 knight e5 and now this king has nowhere to go uh, king f2 king f2 is possible of course uh, but then we would have bishop on h4 and then king have to uh, move if the king moved to uh, e2, then we would have, you know, some mating ideas. If the king moves to e3, then we would have the fork on the queen and the king. And of course, black would um, easily win the game. So we have h3. And here actually, feel free to pause the video. It's, um, it's very comfortable and not difficult uh, combination, the tactic, where you can actually checkmate uh, Vladimir Lenin while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So if you found rook on h3, then I have a bad news for you. You're not gonna checkmate Vladimir Lenin. Moreover, probably you're gonna lose to Lenin because g takes on h3, queen h3, and now queen h2. Queen can just come back. Yes, black can take uh, one extra piece, but that's not enough because if you calculate the pieces, white are up the exchange and probably gonna win this game so that's not the move we are looking for the move we are looking for is bishop on d6 and now this is the checkmating idea and now this was played in the game so gorky found that move we had king to g1 by lenin rook h3 and in this position, uh, Vladimir Lenin resigned the game. And he resigned the game because there is a checkmate uh, in two moves, actually. So whatever white do, for example, take the rook, then we have a checkmate here. There, are, there, there, is, there is no choice for white and then there is a checkmate. The only um, difference is uh, if white would like to prolong, uh, you know, and play um, knight on f4, black can, of course, just pick up the knight or they can checkmate fancy way queen on h2 and after moving to um, f2 this beautiful checkmate uh, you know uh, would happen so uh, this is why in this position uh, Vladimir Lenin resigned the game so one more time this is the villa of uh, Maxim Gorky in Capri he felt bad you know uh, in Russia at that time it was not safe place so he lived in Capri for for some years uh, Lenin visited him if you like this villa press like if for some reason you don't like this villa press unlike and of course um, leave the comment what do you think about this game could it happen like this record is really from the game between Lenin Lenin and Gorky. In my opinion, you know, it's uh, slightly too much professional, but it, it's like uh, playing by very strong amateurs uh, because there are some, you know, uh, not the greatest moves, but still the game is quite decent. So um, I have uh, doubts also. And also 
uh, this radio match uh, it's uh, okay I, I don't I don't have access to some Soviets ar archives so <laughs> I have no idea so feel free to uh, leave your opinion and if you don't want to miss any other interesting stories press subscribe smash the bell button and thanks for watching and see you in the next one